So uh, here we were catching butterflies, doing certain achievement path, etc. And as we thought it should be better that we start leveling up some skills instead of just well uh, following the path system. The path system is nice. It's actually helpful for starters, but it uh, well it can be a bit late. So we might to come back to it later. We might be doing some quests and so on. But for now, I want to teach you all about this layer XP while I hunt for these butterflies. These butterflies appear each east, each eastern, and they are good. They give you free XP. So the butterflies are bonus XP, and I'm getting bonus XP skill. I don't know which it is. So White ones give you 5% bonus XP from butterfly, so you should catch the white ones first. Then you have yellows that give you bonus XP. And greens. Greens just give you direct XP in the lowest skill you have. So let's talk about a bit about Slayer. I want to start with Slayer because I think it's one of the most complete uh, skills you can level up. In the game and personally I I like this skill. I, I really like the skill it's one of my favorites and it's awesome it helps you with everything improves your combat better up your uh, it betters up your your money your stats it includes a lot of stuff. So, what is this Slayer about? And where do I find it? Well, this Slayer is all about killing things. And where do I find it? I find it right here. So, right now, I have a Slayer level 1. And as Slayer level 1, I get access to an enchanted gem, a Slayer Master at Canifis, that's members only, Slayer Master at Edgeville Dungeon, that's members only, Slayer Master at Sanaris, that's members of. I can use a spiked gauntlet and I can kill gelatinous abominations. So for now, I don't have access to much. As you can see below here, I'm level 14 in combat. So I do not have access to much. But we're doing this to explain combat and to get better benefits. So recently, I got a Mask of the Troll. And masks of the Troll are quite helpful. These kind of masks help you fixate and slay your task. Let me explain it over with an example. So here in Taverly, Burthop, this area is designed to be an area that helps contain the new players. So we have everything we need around here. And as you can see here, we have this layer icon on this banner. We are sitting around from Taverly Bank just a couple of steps east. And we have Jacqueline Manslaughter, that's an awesome name, and we have Turiel. So Jacqueline Manslaughter is a tutorial girl. You know? It helps you with starting and helps you a lot if you're free to play. But we're skipping that and we're going directly with Turiel. So first of all, we're going to trade him and get an enchanted gem. Enchanted gems are going to help us get our tasks. So, what's this? He is a Slayer Master. Hello, and what are you after, Jack? Who are you, Trial? Tell us! I'm a Slayer Master. Hm, I didn't know that. I train adventurers to learn the weaknesses of seemingly invulnerable monsters. So yeah, that's the point of a Slayer. You train to be able to beat monsters that usually shouldn't be able to be beaten. To learn how, you need to kill specific monsters, I will identify suitable targets and assign you a quota. What's first? We'll start with hunting gelatinous abominations. You will need to kill five of them. Well, the first Slayer task is actually the same every time. I get a task of killing gelatinous abominations. I need to kill five of them. It gives me a Slayer gem. 
So don't buy your enchanted gem. Uh, yeah, I just so it's lighter wolf. I just said that they add to any skill because, well, most of my skills are still in one thing. Uh, you will also need this enchanted gem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got any tips for me? Yes, I have something written. The last gelatinous abomination I killed, I found a bow and arrows, took them down efficient. So, uh, creatures have weaknesses. They are weak to something. And I need a spiked gauntlet for the gelatinous abominations. So, what's the use of this enchanted gem? Actually, not. Because if I right click, I can activate to have him tell me the same he just did. Or I can select a right click. Current assignment is gelatinous abominations. Only five more to go. It tells me how many I have left to kill. That's awesome. But if we open the settings, go to gameplay. Uh, <clears throat> go to skills, layers. We can select as layer counter. We can tag it top left. Uh, the player counter appeared somewhere. Yeah, here. Let me move it to a place where it's easier. Yeah, in the corner. So yeah, we need. We can see here we have to kill five gelatinous abominations. We have zero slayer points if we just begun, and we have a task streak of zero. So ooh, yellow butterfly. Okay, so uh, that's it. Let's go to the bank. It told us that gelatinous abominations are weak to arrows. So we should put on a bow and an arrow, and we're level 2 range. This is going to be a bit hard. So we have a charge bow here. Pro tip about banking. You can create tabs by dragging items to this plus sign. So I'm going to drag my bronze dagger here. And it creates a tab with a bronze dagger. And I'm going to move all combat things I have. There. So I have them categorized. And let's just bring shrimps, a bread, and five cookies. So let's just bring some food out here. You can right click wield from the bank. So now I'm wearing Kyle's charge bow. Remember. As we got the church bow from uh, the quest, the blood pack quest, this bow is a charge bow, so it doesn't use arrows. Most bows use arrows. Now let's activate the enchanted gem. Hello there. How am I doing so far? Got any tips? Okay, bow and arrows. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. And they don't tell you where they are, so you need to kind of find out on your own. Let's just check if they don't show. Nice. So we don't have any clue where gelatinous abominations are. Well, gelatinous abominations are from Torail. You're going to see these little ponds, lake, river, river, lake. I don't know if it's a river or a lake. It can be any. And uh, let's just call it the lake. And you can see there's a cave here. If we enter the cave, we will find gelatinous abominations and we will find ourselves our first slayer. So here they are gelatinous abominations, level four. And as you can see, if I start attacking them, I'm going to hit, I'm going to use my ability and use my ability again. And you need to equip the spike gauntlet to destroy the heart. They won't die. So I need to equip the gauntlet and I'm gonna kill them. So yeah, I wake them and I put my hand there and squish it. And after killing it, I get the drops and I get XP in combat and in slayer. As you can see right now, I have 25 slayer XP. So yeah, that's the point of it. We're just gonna kill our five gelatinous abominations. We're gonna explain a bit about herbs. Herbs you can get. 
Come on. Frog crayfish don't bother me. Herbs are gotten greeny, so you need to clean them first, and then you can use them for potions. Right now we're just cleaning them. We will do a potion video later. Probably not today, though. And blah. So yeah. Death. I got a leather cowl that's actually nice. It's a ranged armor, as you can see. It gives me 30 armor and it's worn on the head lot. So if I put it, you're gonna see there a little change. However, the Pathfinder armor gives me two extra armor. For now, we're keeping it because we can sell that to a general store and get some extra cash. Woo! Another leather cowl. We got a ranged level. We have New combat abilities. So let's do this really, really quick. We have binding shot. Let's place it here. Move it around, move it around. There we go. Now we can use two abilities. Binding shot, as we saw before, it's a, a bind. So it can help us out. I'm picking all of the drops right now. There's a drop in here. As you can see, there's a red dot on the map. Oh, Troll Lieutenant Bones. That means there are items there. So let's bury the Troll Lieutenant Bones. 13 prayer speed, that's nice. And let's talk about what we've got. We've got two clean charamins, helpful with Herbler. We've got two leather cowls, ranged armor, Pathfinder armor is better. And we got a gold charm. Those are used for summoning. So get all the charms you want. So we've done with the task. It said you have completed your task. Return to a Slayer Master. And if I right click the enchanted gem and I go kills left, you need something new to hunt. If I use enchanted gem, I cannot get a new task from there. So I need to go to the master and specifically tell him to play me. So yeah. Let's open up the defense, we got a level, it's nothing. Let's open up range, we got a level with new combat abilities. So let's go to trial and get a new task trial. Thirty one birds? What? Oh, chicken. Okay, so we need to kill birds now. Birds are chickens. I actually haven't done low level slayer in a while, so I might get a bit confused. So let's go to the bank. Let's equip the KT stuff from the bank. Here's our church row. Let's deposit our leather cow. Move it to combat. And the gold charm and the creamy tarot. One enchanted gem and one spike now. So, yeah, this is a layer. Uh, it actually gets better really fast. It helps you improve in everything combat related. So, it should be a nice skill to start. Uh, one second. Should be a nice skill to start. And here are birds. The terrible, the awful, seemingly invulnerable creatures called chickens. What is this? The Legend of Zelda? Come on, let's just eat it, die. Oh, but I level up Slayer. I'm now Slayer level 2. Let's pick the loot. So, I have a raw chicken. I have feathers to make arrows. And I have bones to train prayer. Pick it up again. And hit the next chicken. And rinse and repeat. Ooh, magic level 11. Right? Bury your bones. Bury the bones. Bury the bones.
I just tell you guys something. I'm not interested actually in ooh, a defense level. I'm not actually interested in going through the game as the most efficient way as possible. Let's just remember that. So there are probably better ways to do at my current level than start doing this layer, but that's what I should do. Uh, I will get somewhere near 15 to 20 layer today. And after that, I will create a new video tomorrow. There are, after a certain amount of uh, tasks done with Layer Masters to start getting reward points, this Taverly Layer Master, uh, it's a bit lacking in reward points because it's the tutorial one, the new one, etc. And there's a quest called smoking kills let me just open it quest okay let me hide complete and i can sort it name okay members what quest started i'm on the rock okay i don't remember starting it Uh, smoking kills. Talk to Simona in her house in Polyfinch. Uh, I need the Restless Ghost, I need the Clarion Slayer he Helper, I need level 35 Slayer and 25 Crafting. You will need to defeat several enemies up to level 93. Combat level of 60 or higher is recommended. This one actually doubles or augments the amount of points you get per task, so it's recommended to do as soon as possible. We're killing birds, the awful, seemingly invulnerable birds of doom. I mean, just look at them. How can, how can someone? I can't. I'm sorry. I I just can't. They are. They are chickens. I I cannot fathom chicken. I mean, I get it. He was so embarrassed of giving me chickens that he wrote it down on a paper. So now we're kind of full of raw chicken. Let's just benefit from this. Cut a log, light a fire. And use the chicken on the fire so that we cook 15 chickens. And as we are expert cooks at our level 3 cooking, we shouldn't burn any chicken. Now we're probably burning some because, yeah, there it is, burnt chicken. Another burnt chicken. Ooh, well for cooking. I can create chocolate milk, nice. Never used chocolate milk in the game before. Four burnt chickens, uh, cooking five. Okay, I don't eat burnt chicken, but Roke Fish here is gonna eat burnt chicken, and now he's named Burnt Chicken. Oh, layer four. So let's check this out. I have five cooking. I can cook herring, chocolate milk, and cream potato crab. I have four layer. I cannot do anything new, and I have twelve defense. So I cannot do anything new at this level. Prayer level, nice. Prayer level 9, I got more prayer points. And Mystic Wheel, nice. Charge? Oh yeah, I've got two new prayers actually. Those are the Magic Prayers, Charge and Mystic Wheel. And I got level 13 in defense. So let's just go here, let's cook fire. Come on, the fire just ran out. You see the ashes there? And that chicken is scaring me. It's so powerful, it was reborn from the ashes of the burnt chickens. Uh, 
Maybe I can. You know, so I'm level six in good coding. I can use a steel hatchet and a black hatchet. So right, let's light the logs. As you can see, we're only 11 birds left. At this point, the Slayer task they gave us doesn't require much, so we're not eating, we're just chilling here, killing chickens, cooking chickens. I said it's raw cavefish name. Yeah, I don't want you to be called raw cavefish. I want you to be called burned chicken. So yeah, uh, trolls can be fed anything and you can talk to them to reset their names. So let's just go bank some food. This food is going to be so helpful later. I hope. Nine out of ten, nice. Let's just drop the meat, drop the shrimp, the bread, drop the chicken. And let's go back to our mighty task of <sighs> saving the world of the thread of the chickens. There we go. So, level six cooking. I can cook fruit blast and him and crab geese of potato. Level 9 prayer. I have Mystic Will and Charge. Level 13 defense. And nothing new. Next thing we have a defense is actually 15 with revenge and silver precision bracelet. There. So, yeah, uh, remember. Woo! 12 magic! Yay! Oh, concentrated blast. That's actually good. So, uh, remember guys, if you want me to cover any particular skill, go ahead. I will be covering up to level 25 in every skill bit by bit. So yeah, we got a new ability that's Concentrate Sonic Wave, level 8, we have it. Then we got Concentrate Blast, however, Concentrated Blast, as you can see, a little above my mouse, it asks for a dual wield weapon, so we're using one and orb, or one and book, or anything dual wield, so we cannot use it right now, but it's quite a good ability. Oh, the main reason we're using the staff, the Caitlyn staff right now, is because it provides us with an unlimited amount of air runes, so we can cast air runes. We can cast air spells easily. Uh, and chicken. Chicken. So, we're four, three birds more to go. We're almost done with this. Birds. Uh, by the way, also noticeable, uh, right clicks are your health. Are health. Really, really helpful in the game. I don't know what I'm saying right now. So, bye, chicken! So, I have completed my task. We went to Slayer Master. I got Constitution 15. And I got an achievement. Get Constitution 15. So, yeah, let's open Constitution Guide to see if we have some thingies here. Let's open Magic. Concentrate Blast. Slayer. I can kill Crawling Hand. Let's just cook the remaining. Let's just humiliate our enemies by cooking the remains in front of them. Show them that they do not have to mess with us. And because we want to level up our meat. Dang it, burnt chicken! Don't eat the raw chicken! Jesus! Level eight. 
and let's drop the burn chicken. So yeah, that was it. Let's go back to trial to get us another Slayer task. I'm gonna try to do this the right way, so the moment we get 20 combat, we're going to the next Slayer Master that requires level 20. And for that, we're gonna need uh, a couple of things. So get task. We don't want everyone overhearing your, your assignment so that I don't embarrass myself. So I'm going to write it down on this piece of paper. 11 ice beams. Son of a. Okay, got any tips for me? Uh, yeah, I suppose ice fiends are weak to fire spells. I don't know why, but I feel that that should be the case. Strong weapons. Huh, so they're weak to ranged. They quicken agile, so you will want to be careful when getting close to them. Ice Mountain is infested with this pesky creature. So, they told us, Ice Mountain. Oh, here it is, Ice Mountain. Let's double click click it. And we have an edge field here. So these icons, and it's nice to have this opportunity, are called lodestones. They're the things we teleport to. And let's just go fetch our bow real fast. And let's explain about lodestones. We're going to be activating them as we need them. I may ask a friend of mine to help me with a video about activating all of the lodestones in free to play and in members, but that's actually a need to know, need to do basis. So, lodestones basically teleport you to any place in the map, well, to any lodestone in the map, are these little icons here. And as you can see, we have many, many of them locked. We have uh, many of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was checking my stream on my phone with my dad out. Okay, we see most of them are locked. We need to get close, personal, and unlock them. So, yeah. Let's just walk here. Eight. Baked potato, pineapple punch, rabbit sandwich, fire make five. I can make tar minis. Right. Once I get to level 20 magic, or 20 in any combat skill, I'm gonna get focused on ditching the pathfinder and extra rewards, and I'm gonna create a new set of armor that's gonna be done from scratch. So it should be. Easy. So yeah, we have Ice Mountain up here. You can see there's this little arrow. And when we're going back to our master, we're gonna be activating a couple of the stones that are here. As you can see, we are. Oh, let's open them up. We are here. So Taverly is up here. Here is our Slayer Master. Really just select all. Here's our Slayer Master. And we have a Lodestone here in Palador and here in Edgeville. So I'm going to tag the Edgeville Lodestone. Double click there. And I'm going to kill, we're going to kill our 11. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck it, red. Okay, I think level 35. Let's just see if they're aggressive. Okay, they're ignoring me. Let's just uh, go over a little technique in RuneScape called safe spotting. Monsters move in certain uh, patterns. So if I attack from up here, he shouldn't be able to hit. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's able to hit me. Hits me with magic. Now I'm scared. It's level 35, and I'm just level 16. Usually, it shouldn't matter that much, but uh, let's just hope I don't get myself killed around here. This should prove challenging and interesting. Let's pray up to increase our accuracy. 
by the way, whenever you eat, your adrenaline goes down. So eat with caution. So I'm a level three ranger trying to kill a level 35 monster. Uh, this can go either way. So this might take a while. However, 14 is layer XP and 72 combat XP. And I got Monk Rogue and Impious Ashes. Okay, so Monk Rogue doesn't give me defense bonus, but gives me prayer bonus. And Impious Ashes are the equivalent bones to demons. So I scar them and I get 8 prayer. So let's keep going. I okay the other one right now. <clears throat> I'm praying that you eat. Thank you. And this is the time Saga regrets doing a video telling everyone he's getting twenty five slayer. So yeah, we're probably having to bank, make some food, try to get to level five range soon, so we can upgrade our bow, maybe upgrade our armor. Don't miss, please don't miss. Dang it! Miss the ultimate. So yeah, um, I'm gonna need more birds for this. Okay, okay, we can do this. You can see my prayer points are going slowly down because I have turned on some prayer benefit, uh, the ranged benefits actually. So I should have. Okay, I have plus eight ranged accuracy, plus two ranged strength, and plus nine. Defense. Yeah, I can do this. Can try this. There we go. That's a nice old gun down. Oh, I got a cake. Just hold that cake. I don't know if I'm feeling confident doing it. another one. Uh, let's try. The worst thing that would happen is that I die. Jesus, I thought these guys were safe as possible, so I thought I could go through my task without getting hit. I might have to run away from these guys. Or I might get lucky. Or maybe I want to explain how that system works. Jesus Christ, okay, I'm out. Run! No, 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 Okay. Oh yeah. That was a nice experience with the ice fiend there. So okay. Uh we are here on our marker. We see the edge below the stone, so we just click activate. And it shows a little cutscene and now we can teleport here. So that should help us finish our ice fiend.
task. After that, we're gonna right click the map. Here, your marker. Jesus Christ! Dude, I'm level 3 ranged! Why give me ice beam? Okay, 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 we can do this. We just need better preparation. I thought ice beams were level 13, I don't know why. The good thing is that they give more Slayer XP, so we're leveling faster, and they give a lot of combat XP, so we should level up fast. The next one that we kill is gonna get us level 4 ranged, and if we're missing 9, it should help us a lot. So, here it is. Palador Loadstone. Activate. Perfect. So now if we press the teleport, you can see all of these are unlocked. And let's just check something out. Defense skill. So at level 10, I can use hard leather armor. So uh, it's a good time to create hard leather armor. Mm, shield bow, sleeping up, long bow. I can do that. In height, magic. So yeah, hard leather armor. Let's just go crafting. Check hard leather armor, hard leather armor, hard leather armor, armor. Leather now. Hiding high tool, high tool bottom. Shield. Hard leather cow, level 25. Hard leather boots, level 27. Hard leather chap, level 28. Hard leather shield, level 29. Uh, hard leather body level 20. So I need 28 crafting to finish this armor so that I finish this task. And I honestly don't want to buy, I want to make. Do I use orbs? Oh, I'm sorry, Fleming. I just saw your living man. I just saw your. Your PM, what orbs are you meaning? The Agoroth orbs from Shadow Over Dashdale that you can get a weekly reward, or viewing orbs from Runescape so that you can give a better view at the game. Uh, you lost me a bit there. Okay. It wasn't a good idea to start with the year. So, let's. Oh, we have a, a small combat training dummy crate that might help a bit. We're gonna take dummy, and it shows us an option for melee, range, or mic. So I'm gonna take a range dummy. I, we got that from Treasure Hunter, so it should be quite good. And deploy the ranged dummy, and then attack it. So these dummies are actually a good way to train. They are Treasure Hunter, so chest items. You can, I think you can sell them. Never bought them, no. But basically, you attack them for a bit, and they give you XP every time you put them down. More people can join on the phone, and the XP doesn't get split, they just get their own amount of XP. So this uh, small combat training dummy that has three dummies should get us a couple of levels, should get us level 5 ranged, maybe 6. Oh, we have bonus XP, so we don't, I don't know which skill I saw. Should get okay, level five range. Let's take another range dummy. Let's fly it. We have snipe now. That's awesome. We can oh level six range, nice. So this might actually help a lot with with the ice fiend problem we just got ourselves into. 
the thing about that that I like about starting the game with Slayer is that it challenges you to do other stuff, to go away, to solve the problem, explore new areas. And I think it helps you learn the game in a new and interesting way. For example, for now, if we wanted more armor, we could have gone and trained crafting. We're trying not to do that. Maybe I'll just go up to level 10 everything before going crazy on level 25, 10 everything, so that we can explain basically every skill. So this is layer. We get, you get benefits, you get access to new monsters. For example, we unlock crawling hands. However, we haven't got any crawling hand uh, experience right now. So range, range training dummy. Um, with level 50 defense. Level seven. Uh, let's do this. Hit it. I, I'm not using the ultimate right now. But I exactly. So I actually like that ultimate a lot. So I'm level eight range now. I got Dazing Shot and Mutated Dazing Shot. Abilities actually Mutated Dazing Shot is unlockable from a minigame called Shattered Wars that we don't have the combat abilities of yet, but we will eventually. So let's find him. Oh, what? Pierce him. him again. Pierce him yet again. Then snapshot him. Then pierce him. Find him. Pierce him. And that shot him. And that should be it for this dummy. Yep. So, okay, let's check what we got. Level 16 defense. You have revenge and silver precision bracelet. You got the king constitution. That's nothing more than life points. You've got range. So, we've got. Snipe and Dacing Shot, two new abilities to use. And both are available to bows. Or some abilities that are only available to <coughs> crossbows. So yeah, uh, as you can see, we have only 27 prayer points left. So let's try this again, okay? Let's bank, grab put, put, um, yeah, let's gonna try this, let's check ranged, so, uh, can search bow, the one, no ammo needed, and I could actually be using a quick bow, how about we go get a quick bow First, if I recall correctly, quick bows are but um, are also charge bows, but they are gotten from trolls. Okay, yeah. Let's go get a quick bow real fast. It's gonna be quick about getting a quick bow. I was just quickly checking where do you get them. So there are actually trolls around here. I wanted to show them to you a bit later, but <laughs> Trial just played us with that epic, awesome, unbelievably interesting. I think this isn't the cave I'm going for. No, this isn't the cave I'm going for. I'm so new at the new game, I'm having stuck in the game for eight to nine years so much of this stuff is not is new for me too so yeah let's uh, go get a charge bow to do that we need to go to the troll cave up here north of Porto. i could have teleported and with that it should be better than kyle's charge bow we have a 110 room 160 and here we are trolls troll brute and troll shaman. 
and troll chucker. So troll chuckers are weak to swords, but we're not focusing on that right now. Eat some meat. Grab the bones. Bury the bones. Grab the bones. That's the charge bow. So yeah, charge bow sucks. Okay. Bone. Let me just uh, check real fast. Um, because the wiki I got updated, and I don't want to be killing these guys for nothing. Quick bow, yeah. Always drop it with 30 bronze arrows. So if I recall correctly, quick bows are useful because they don't give any arrows. Does not require some munition. Okay. So charge bow, leather body. Yes, level 10 prayer. We've got rock skin. So rock skin is the second prayer of defense. It basically increases our defense for a bit more. And we have now access to a very interesting ability. Another trap snipe. That's a snipe. Snipe charges and fires. But it deals a lot of damage. It's actually included in most of the ranged damaging the action bars at one of the first slots because of the damage it deals. So, yeah, we're right now. Looking for the bow. Ooh, level 10 range. That's actually good. You can use an iron crossbow with iron dance, iron javelins, iron throwing axes, iron bows, iron everything. I don't mind about that right now. I just want a charge bow, a quick bow. So that I can go finish my bloody task. <sighs> Poorly cooked at this me. There we go, that's a quick one. So it has 183 and 202. It's way better. It's way better. Sorry, kills charge. Oh, you're going down. Okay, so. Uh, pro tip just come here and get the weapons they drop. They have uh, this one, they have a mind spike, it's called staff that the shamans drop. And I don't know if the melee guys have something, but for now, let's just try to finish our ice fin task. For level 10 range, we have level up seven levels. And we teleported to HP. So a good thing to note, to recover our prayer points, we need to go to an altar. Well, let's just go to an altar. Here is a monastery where you can climb up the ladder. I think you can climb up the ladder. Please let me climb up the ladder. Only members of our order. Yeah, they rock me. Remember, guys, how I told you about my headphone problem? Showing up again. There we go. Connect, connect, please. Well, good thing is music paused itself. So, so for now, just just turn off Iron's rough skin and like the ice fin. Snipe and start with a good hit. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit him. Thank you. So, this actually feels a lot different. <laughs> I mean, this got way easier now. Oh, so yeah, that's what I like about Slayer. You need to 
rethink your strategy. So you need to go back. That level six layer was totally worth it. So I got uh, Iron Stone Spirit. That's nice. We're going to explain about them in detail whenever we do uh, meaning and smithing. That should be not that far from now. I think next one is going to be crafting. And after that, meaning and smithing. So for crafting, we're doing. We're getting a bit higher. We're getting level 15, 20. We should be leveling quite fast. So yeah, a bit of explanation of things I'm getting. Ashes, they work for prayer. Oh, the stone spirit. Basically, whenever I mine, I'm gonna get an ore. If I have a stone spirit of that kind of ore with, it, with me, I will get an extra one. So it's double mining. And uh, the medium spiky bladed salvage, it's a general item that most monsters drop. Instead of dropping a piece of iron armor that they did before, now they drop this kind of stuff. And this kind of stuff helps us with uh, getting some cash. I can sell it. Or I can... A cast and a spell on it that's called low level alchemy or high level alchemy or at higher levels with invention unlocked I can disassemble it so yeah this got way easier with level 10 range and the quick bow And I just got level 17 in defense. The cake is the cake. Sample right now, I have the prayers off. Because he has no prayers activated. And I'm not having that much of a trouble anymore. Keep So we might do a couple more tasks, I mean. I want to show you what does the uh, Mask of the Troll does. So we got tomato seeds. Tomato seeds are used in farming to farm tomatoes. Tomatoes are used in cooking sometimes. And I hate, I really hate when I miss my ultimate. Ooh, iron arrows. That's gonna help. Sadly, there are not that many charge bows in the game, so eventually we're gonna have to use arrows. And that eventually come pretty soon. We still keep getting tasks from arrows. Oh, come on! Stop missing the ultimate. So yeah, we went from killing the terrible, terrible birds to these easy PC guys that are ice skin that uh, we're just chilling up here. Ooh, what? So rune used to cast spells. Magic. Hmm. Try to survive. So I usually thought uh, ice skins were weak to magic. That. Thank you very much. There we go. Keep eating. Keep. Come on, burn chicken. Stop being in the way. I love how there are baby ice creams all around, and you just cannot attack them. You don't have the heart. Not a poor baby ice cream. However, you can kill every adult in their village so that they will probably won't survive, and you're totally fine with it. 
There we go. Task one, return to Slayer Master. So yeah, let's just check. Level 17 constitution, nothing new. Level 17 defense, nothing new. Level 11 range, nothing new. Six is layered, nothing new. Okay, let's just open our teleport and go to, to Taverly. <clears throat> now, I have forgotten about it. But the reason I have a mask of the troll right now is that I can wear it. Even though I look quite chic with this mask. As you can see from my trollish appearance, it's in a way they do it in party. Uh, when I get tasked from trial, since I have the troll mask, I can get assigned trolls. So yeah, I need to kill 19 trolls. Now I can remove the mask. And the mask, if I wear it, it should give some extra benefit. I'm going to eat because I want to eat. I'm going to go to the bank. I want to deposit everything. Get up the mask of the troll. And I kind of want to level combat so yeah silver light and resist of hand sword so for now I'm gonna go mainly with the mask of the troll but and I'm gonna leave everything else because we need to level up we can just leave it like that so I'm gonna do something stupid Eight. Uh, this one is level five. I can use it in terms of wielding. And what I'm going to do is I am going to fight the trolls that use magic. So that I'm trying to get a charge bow. So let me come here. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, misclick. Okay, so we got the level, the special bow from these guys. Let me just check something. The mages do drop the mind spike. Uh, that's a nice stuff. It should be a bit better than what we have. We have Troll Brutes. That they drop... Okay, Keen Blade. What they drop. Two-handed sword. But I'm not actually interested in Keen Blade. Because we have Silver Light. Mighty copy of Excalibur. Oh, nice. It's layer 7. And this should be simple, shouldn't be too hard. Mind spike, nice. So now that I actually have the mind spike, you can see it's turned to air, but I can change it so it turns to any rune I want, and it should give me infinite amount of rune there. But uh, right now, I'm focused on finishing my Slayer task. Getting a couple of melee levels on the way. A couple of player levels too. Picking up all of the drops now. The forcing of the task must be done once a day only, so shut 
Uh, yeah, that I did was lead, so I knew he was there. And I level up, level 7 attack, level 7 strength. I'm gonna try to keep these two on the same same level. I might as well dismiss any gift XP in attack or strength. Because I want those two to go pair up. Ooh, right, sandwich. I don't have enough. As you can see, rangers can hit me at a distance. I do not mind much because these guys are weak. But, ooh, charge hole. Nice. And another Slayer level. Okay, we're level 10 Slayer right now. I can kill cave crawlers. And that was it. We finished this layer task. Now let's do this and let's go to Averly to ask for a new task. For now, I'm just collecting loot, mindlessly collecting loot. We will sell it later, but now we have a beautiful mine spike so we can use it instead of another spells. There are actually Reward. Sometimes you get a double drop from the monsters from the mask. You can get 10% more XP until you get, uh, I think it's 999 kill. At that point, you will stop getting the benefits, but you can still use the mask for Satan's state. So we prevent uh, him from giving us another Ice Fiend kind task. Uh, okay, dwarves. Dwarves, dwarves, dwarves. Go to trial. I need another assignment. You need to kill 34 dwarves. Okay. I need to kill 34 dwarves. And if I recall correctly, dwarves are weak. To magic. Here, let's click on this tab and let will mine spike. So yeah, as you can see, Caitlyn's tab was has one sixty, and mine spike has two hundred oh two, so it's a bit better. I think the, these are around level five. The mine spike and this stuff, and I have it set up on air. I do not have a room, right? No, I do not have a runes. If I had a runes, I could have gone water or earth spells. But for now, we're just saving it. Airbolt is level 17 magic. I'm not that far away. This is the spell list. It only appears uh, light up the ones I have available right now. So it only appears airstrike. But it can show you the rest of spells. For example, for Water Strike, I would need Water Rune. For Air Bolt, I would need level 17 magic. And so on and so forth. Now I have two choices, and I actually want you to see what I meant about safe spotting before. Where is a Black Dwarf? There is a black door. So if I correctly, I can attack it and quickly run, 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 run. It will stuck there. 
So if this works right, I can attack it from here, and he won't be able to attack me. He's stuck over a tree. So I'm using a range attack, and he's melee, he can't attack me. So now I can safely kill a monster level 42. That's gonna give me more XP. Slayer XP and combat XP is based on the life points and combat level of your enemy. So if you kill a strong guy like this black guard here, you're gonna get a lot of experience. It takes a bit longer to kill, but it should be worth it in the end. So 34 Slayer XP and 89 combat. 34 Slayer XP is a lot. Now, let me just try to find another black card that's gonna fell all victim. There are. Okay, here they are. Now. Not all things you can attack through. Like this one, like this one, like this one. Run, 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 run. But and says and stuff like that you can safely attack from. And as you can see, I'm virtually invincible right now. Now I just need to be extra careful, for example, with this ability Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath hits in a cone in front of me. I was about to use it. So whenever I use Dragon Breath, I risk hitting another monster and having it aggro me. So it will jump over me, try to attack me, and I won't be able to do anything about it. I will die. Hurry. Hi, Neil Uchiha. How are you? Sorry, I'm new at this. I get distracted and I forget to turn around and see the chat. For example, there. I got distracted and I just hit another black guard and a normal dwarf. Uh, luckily for us, the black dwarf is stuck. And now he forgot about me. So yeah, go away. Don't mind. I'm just killing your friend over here. And since I already attacked. See? So for example, this normal dwarf giving me 17 Slayer XP compared to the 80, so I'm getting from the other, the Black Dwarf. So yeah, yeah, go there, go there, you're fine. I'm just basically safe spotting here. Again, I don't think starting with the Slayer was the best idea, but I like that. I, I find it interesting. Now I need to kill them, I need to improve. I have some tasks to be done. I've noticed how I much I need to improve my armor. Uh, we just need to kill the monsters over and over again. There we go, 11, 11 Slayer. So I got more points. I've got a prayer level. I got a lot of things here. So, okay, level 18 hit points, nothing. Level 18 defense, nothing. Level 12 prayer, nothing. Level 11 slayer, nothing. Okay, level 12 magic. I'm about to level up. I was worrying about how much. Mm. Oh, yeah. As I was telling, and I'm happy to finally have some followers here, um, I want to create a little video like this one with this account leveling up. A certain skill and me explaining the skill completely. Uh, right now we're focusing on Slayer and I haven't done any other skill. I did the Combat Academy tutorial so combat can be picked up but we probably should have your votes in it. If you want any skill to be handled just tell me. And I can do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do not get out of here, little dwarf. No! Okay. I'm too weak now to handle these guys on their own.
and I want this to serve like a sort of guide, sort of strategy or sort of inspiration for people to come into the game. A friend of mine was actually telling me, hey, why don't you go to our clan's outpost and do the weekly stuff there that gives a whole lot of XP. I'm like, uh, it's fine, but I don't want to do that because new players probably don't have a clan yet. So even though you're invited to join my clan anytime, a uh, great war. But I don't want to do that yet. I'm not even part of the clan here. I'm part of my clan in my main account, actually, only the previous owner inherited it to me when we quitted the game. Come on, you shouldn't be able to fail the ultimate. So annoying. Now, if I use Dragon Bread right now, I'm so dead. The other Black Dwarf is gonna come after me like, Hey, you're hitting me! What is wrong with you? I have seen you killing my friends, but I don't mind as long as you leave me alone. And then he's gonna get angry and I'm gonna die. So, Blackguard, speaking of you, I heard you don't mind that I'm killing your friends, huh? So, hammers, I think hammers are quite useless now since so the belt rework went in. I'm playing an 88. Oh, sorry, 88 is down. I don't know why 88 is down. I mean 78. Actually, since I'm streaming from Mexico, uh, it automatically connects me in world 78. I usually play in world 88, since that's my clan native world. There we go. Another dwarf fight. So now I can use Fire Strike and Fire Slam and I've got 13 magic. Here's this guy. I just hope this guy doesn't come in with a dwarf mold cannon and starts killing every single dwarf and stealing the XP from me. It happens. There are people I do that. I, I hate cannons. There are a weapon you can unlock. Actually, the quest. Uh, as you come here a lot, that there are weapon that spins around and fires cannonballs at all of the enemies around him, and it's other BS. You basically steal every single kill from anyone around there. So, uh, yeah, I find it quite annoying. Okay, let's increase my magical attack rating. I have a lot of them to kill them. I think after getting to level 15 or so in every skill, I might show up the benefits of being in the clan, and that way we can. Well, I can promote my clan a bit, and maybe I can improve the clan status of the game. Most people just think a clan is a group of people playing together, but there is so much more to it. There are events, there are activities, there are a lot of stuff. That video is probably consisting of two or three parts, one in this account and one on my main account. Since we're gonna need owner privileges to show everything up. Die, Blackguard, die. But yeah, I I always loved how, how simple this is. You just kill everyone around. And the guards that are supposed to watch over it don't do anything. They just watch you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I hit a dwarf. Okay. You go and die, my friend. You go and die. I will be here to be your guard. Oh, he was 
heal already. If you ignore a monster long enough, they will heal. And most of the monsters just forget their while. Non aggression. Oh, jeez. Well, it was a pleasure knowing you all. Can you kill it? Please, 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 with a sugar and cherry on top. Just heal the other dwarf so I can for my life. Thank you very much. Let me just work here really fast. Okay, level 14 magic. I say. Woo! <laughs> that was harsh. Got almost half. 14 magic. Do I get access to a new ability? Well, no. Up to level 20, I have none new abilities. At level 20, I get. Oh, combust. Thank you very much. Combust is a bleed, so it should help a lot under this situation. As long as it. Oh, come on. Dwarf. I'm getting in my way. I'm killing your guard. I have nothing against you. Just ignore me, please. Thank you very much. I actually like to get the uh, dwarf tasks around this early in the game because well, the XP is good. I mean, it takes a while to get, but uh, Turile gives a lot of dwarfs. The XP is beast. They are level 42. They give a lot of XP. So I can get higher levels faster. The rule of thumb is if you can do a slayer with something bigger and meaner, it's usually worthwhile. Or actually, tasks, for example, if I can get demons, I can go fight a demon boss. And, and while I'm fighting the demon boss, I will get extra XP plus extra drops and everything. Obviously, at my current level, I cannot get any boss in the game. You need, like, I think it's about 60 tax strength and defense my mage or range to be able to handle the easiest boss in the game. Maybe with 50 you can do it. That's the giant mole. So yeah, monsters are not very smart in the game. You can yeah, I'm not able to keep me across a little fence. I mean, even for a dwarf, he could just loop around and hit me. Maybe he would reach if he stretched out for a bit. There. And I got a new defense level. Defense 19. It's actually nice. So yeah, we're missing only 16 dwarfs to go for level 12 player, for level 20 combat. So as I said, we're getting to the next master after this. And that, my friends, is something I'm going to regret so badly. Because a new master has monsters that are way stronger, but we're doing it, showing you where the new master is. So I hope with this with this video layer is a bit clearer on your end, so you can understand a bit what we're doing. The game is free, so you can do whatever you want. You can stroll around. I had a friend that just played the game to listen to musicians around the world, and uh, well, she didn't pay the membership. Thankfully, she was like, I just want to go there and sit and listen to the music. 
I don't know. Should I put the music on the game? Let me guys uh, answer that. So yeah. If you want me to put the game music, I can put the game music, no problem at all. I kinda don't like it. I'm used to 2004, 2005 style of music. And well, hmm, that music was awful. But I might just take a shot at it. For you to actually hear it, I need to put the music on my headphones, so that might take a while. Or medium spiky brown savage. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. There you're fine. Right, right, see? Everything's fine. Everything's awesome. Just stay there. You focus on the fence. Everything is going fine. If you feel wind blowing through you, that's it. Just a win, it's not a spell, reducing your life points to the point you die. No, it wasn't that. You died of natural causes, natural earth causes. So, where are my dwarves? Bring me dwarves! Oh, that's a guard level 16. This is a black guard level 42. It's actually a quest series explaining many, many of these races and cultures that we don't understand, like why there's black guards and guards and everything about it. A good thing to note is remember that this icon means that he is weak to air spells, and we are using air spells. We're using the first air spell because we haven't gotten yet to level 17 magic. We're about to hit 15, so that should be nice. Check 14 magic. I typically crossbow bolt, so I can enchant J bolts now. It's layer 12, nothing new. That's a black card. That's wow. <laughs> I swear to. Okay, okay, that was nice. I never thought I. Okay, okay, right, fine. I won't complain. This feels a bit weird, honestly, having to attack him from all the way over here and across a tree. But that's the magic of safe. Love it. You can do a whole task of monsters that are twice your level without worrying them, worrying about them hitting you. That's what I like about magic and ranged. That's one of the problems with melee. There are barely any safe spots in melee. You have a halberd or... Woo! I'm not here, I'm not here, I'm not here, you're not seeing me. Dang it. There we go. So I'm level 15 magic, I do not have any more. I'm level 40, 21 combat right now. So I hope we can get level 17 magic in here. I doubt possible. We're getting 20 defense. I'm almost certain of that. And we're getting 16 magic. Also almost certain of that. We're getting, I think, 14 slayer. Come on, die already. So yeah, drops stay in the floor for a bit, so sometimes you can just kill a couple of guys and then pick up the loot. You don't need to pick the loot obsessively like I'm doing. You don't need to pick up everything. For most of these things we're trying to use. So yeah, burn, burn like that, you know. I mean, hey, how are you? Nine dwarves. I think we're getting close. 
like a 17 layer XP. That there. Wait a second. Okay, eight layer XP. Now we run out of bonus XP. We have some bonus XP from the black pearls and everything. Yeah. Constitution, fifth magic, third range. So yeah, again, if in any case anyone is wondering, we're showing up with player here. We talked about what's up with the skill. If you have any doubt, type it in the chat. I'm doing my best to answer. And well, it works wonders. We have been leveling up combat like crazy. We have been getting items that are gonna prove useful later. We have been exploring a bit about the world. Having some nice and fun adventures. Okay. Bones. Thought I attacked him. Hey, Blackguard. A nice blow of boost roll. And come over here. Yeah. Now stay there while I kill you, please. So most of Slayer monsters have a sort of upgrade. Around, especially when we have normal monsters like dwarf, like birds, and like like that. I think with birds before I could have hit all my chickens on the Karamja jungle, a Sari jungle on the south of the Karamja continent. Uh, that's a big island in the mainland of Runescape. However, to do that, I need access to the Legends Guild Quest, and I'm obviously not a legend right now. Die, Black Bard. So yeah, we're about to get to level 16 magic. And we are not getting 14. That's a shame. I think his dwarves have very bad memories. So another thing, if you attack a monster with a red or yellow circle, especially red circle around it, then you can press any ability and you will automatically attack him. Anything more about it? So this one, on the next one, we're getting level magic. And on the oh yeah we're not getting for right so let me check time 42 a.m where i am i need to pull bank so i'm checking that it is around 12 that i finished the stream this stream is going to be a bit long we're getting uh, 15 player we agree we agreed 15 in every skill before moving on. Now, uh, after we get 15 in every skill, we will explain clan system. If you want any ordering of skills in particular, I mean, I'm not playing combat with the Combat Academy. I'm not going thorough and deep within combat. It's quite simple, actually, and it will be self explanatory with things like Slayer. And later when we start bossing and doing other stuff. So yeah. Okay, we got defense 20. We can use steel armor. We can use animal staffs. They are headwear. And we got 16 magic. And I think 16 magic is pass. Thank you. 
but since we are leveling up magic, we are hitting them easier. And this is the last one of our little dwarf. Let's finish this with an ultimate. Clippers! Important thing of beginning to go with the other Slayer Masters is that you start getting reward points. Oh, okay, nice. Let's just check. 19 Constitution. Nothing. 20 Defense. A uh, lot of things. Mm -mm -mm. Decorative Armor. Slayer Headwear. This is important. Don't armor from range. Check Hide Armor. Mirror Shield. Marmaros. A lot of stuff. 13 Prayer. Superhuman strength, the next prayer of strength line, 16 magic, bones to bananas, and combat ability horror. This combat ability must be first unlocked, so we won't have it yet. And 13 is layer. Now, if we check right here, let's just bank real fast. Let's go to Taverly to bank. Ugh. I mean, we can be really lucky and get a crawling hand <laughs> task, or we can be totally screwed and get a banshee. So I don't think we're able to do banshee here. Let's check. We can get crawling hand, cave bug, cave crawler. Or, okay, yeah, we cannot get banshee here. So let's just bank and drop everything in the back for now. And let's take the enchanted chain. Check this out. Before, when I activated it, I contacted Trial, the one on Burza. Now, if I contact it, Oh, it's true. What? Shouldn't be true. Okay, okay. Let me check this out. Slayer, level 1. Slayer Master in Canif. Also requires level 20 combat. So now I can go to Slayer Master in Canif. That was my point. That was where I was going. So where is Canif? Let's open the map. And oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I know where Canif is. Check this out. Ice Mountain, Baroque Village, Baroque, Mauritania. Canif. Okay. So one thing you can do if you're searching for something in this very big world is deselect all. And on these categories, don't like skills crafting, this, no, activities, skill training, and it should be a slayer training, yep, so we toggle it. Um, okay. Computers. Layer master. Here we are. We toggle the layer masters and they appear and they glow on the map. As you can see we have one in Edgeville, one in Canifis, one in Shino Village. Um that's it. There are more, but they are hidden in other places. So here it is. And here is Canifis with our Slayer Master. So let's double click it so we have it. And as we can see, if we mark everything, load the stones, we have a load of stone right here, but it's not active. So we should trigger that load of stone. Uh, okay, let's see how we get there. We have a temple, we have a road here, we have something called the King's Road. We have a big city, Baroque. Oh, Baroque has a lodestone. Lodestone where we will make a uh, demon slayer. So if I click here, it's already active. I can teleport to Baroque. So let's go slayer. Let's go. Let's go, Canifis, meet our new slayer master and say like, hey, I'm a total newbie at this game. I have stats that suck. So please, help me. So this is Baroque. And we lost our marker. Oh, where it is our marker? Oh, I don't see the blue arrow on the map. <sighs> By the way, oh, there's the blue arrow. The agility effects, one of them is that you can run for longer periods of time. So we're going to have a little walk in our hands. In a couple of seconds, I was talking about my friend, my friend who listened to musicians. So you can right click press and music, or you can listen to musicians. 
and you see that you recover energy real faster. Now, let me just do this quick audio. I'm not going to mute. Remove. And let me fix my settings so that I oh, so that I can show you the music. One second. Okay. So here we go. Sound section. Actually, it's an option before where I could choose where did I want it to reproduce each sound. So, speakers. Okay. One little second. Okay, so this didn't work. Oh, there is. Hear that subtle music? All right, let me just check levels. Up. We have RuneScape music. Let's just check. There's a lot of monks around here. And there are multiple quests. So now I need to go to the other side. The mausoleum. This area is called Mauritania. It's the area like. Hallowed area, eerie, ghostly zone of the game. Can probably know by the music. Oh, jeez. I need to kill this goal. Level 33. That's new on my 
times you need to unlock this request. Now apparently you just need to kill the goal. Or have the goal kill you. Maybe that's a solution. There we go. Goal is dead. So can I go through? Yes, I want to proceed. It's dangerous. I can encounter werewolves and other stuff, and it certainly looks eerie. So, yeah. We're in the middle of a swamp with a village. These guys are a bit dangerous. I would recommend not attacking the humans in this town for now, since these guys are werewolves. Spoiler alert. If you attack them, they turn into werewolves and they will probably kill you. And here's our lodestone. So let's activate the lodestone. There we go, we have Canifis. That guy has a very beautiful pet. Oh my god, that looks beautiful. Permanent imp pet. I need to get one on my main account like now. Okay, so here's Master. This is the Slayer Master. I need another assignment. Excellent, you're doing great. Your new task is to kill 55 Cataplepon. And we just got so, uh, very big tasks. Okay, got any tips? Crossbow with bolts took them down efficiently. So, we need to kill 55 Cataplepons. That's hard. That's going to take a while. So for that, <sighs> we need bow and arrows. But as of now, our level five bow isn't going to cut it. So we're going to start using a level 10 bow. We're going to use a 200 crossbow. So let's go and teach you guys how to buy stuff. First of all, if you click here, you can withdraw as a note. You have in your mind, for example, fire, the two tar well, the term is we're going to keep the feathers. Uh, what else? A leather body and chap hammers average bronze bolts were way over them leather cow um a burning one how much is it okay uh we're getting everything ready so, right now we need to go to Varrock. Varrock has something called the Grand Exchange, where you can buy and sell stuff from across worlds, servers, and people. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> we right now are in need of some serious armor. Ketab weapons are hard. They are a tough task. Check here. This is probably being a bit hard to do, but after we kill 55 catablepons, we're getting almost 3000 Slayer XP. So we are more than doubling our XP. We're getting 8000 combat XP, so 4000 in range and 4000 in defense. And ah, oh, this is gonna be hard. Luckily for us, there are safe spots, so it should take a bit. This is the Grand Exchange, so we click on here, Grand Exchange clear, and I need to speak with the tutor. Okay. So this is a fantastic Grand Exchange. I'm going. I am only too happy to help teach you everything you could possibly want to know. The teacher nearby can give a brief introduction too, but he's not as fun as me. Okay, I don't want fun. Fast.
All right, so I can use the Grand Exchange now. I'm going to explain it fast. This is a Grand Exchange. You click on these guys to exchange. These guys are a bank. So what can you do? I can, for example, offer my cow hides. So I'm going to sell my cow hides, and I can put the price on them for as far as I can. So I can sell them for 1 GP, or I can sell them for a million GP, and it doesn't matter. Right now, I'm going to lower it 10%, because whenever I confirm the offer, it's going to go and find some other player in the world that's buying cow hides at the price I placed and doing the exchange for us. So as I want money fast, I'm just selling them for a bit lower than the usual price. There we go. Feathers. Leather body, I don't know if leather body is selling. Yes, it's in leather chaps. Hammers. Hammers are probably done selling the oh they sold. Wow, nice. So now I have fifteen hundred cash. I'm selling the salvages. I sh I'm salvages are good if you have enough magic to cast high level alchemy. But if not, you should probably just all them here. Better count. Runs off and plus. There we go. We have a nice amount of cash right now. So we need to kill catablops. Let's check. We're level 20 deep. So we want ranged armors. Level 20 is a studded armor. And we might as well get studded. Oh, gilded. I don't have the cash for that. So let's get a stud body. I increase the price when I buy. So you buy, you type studded, you select the chaps, you go a bit above to get them instantaneously. So uh, before we do this, let me just check I can where it might require 20 range. Oh, okay, I can wear it. You can see we have 35 armor from the Pathfinder and 69 from the Studded. So Studded is going to help us a lot. We're not getting rid of our Pathfinder armor yet, but let's just get Studded. What else we have? Studded Leather Coif. There are a lot of people that train crafting with cows. They start killing cows in the game and then creating stuff. And they sell it, so usually these things aren't hard to get. Okay, the boots and clothes are being a bit resistant, but I don't particularly mind about boots or gloves. So we've got our studded. Now we need to buy our crossbow. We can use iron, so it's dual wield iron crossbows or two handed iron crossbows. And there is not that much of a difference. So, okay, it's iron to H. But honestly, I like the width, so crossbow. We're getting iron crossbow by one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can also type the price, for example, 2000. Okay, we're gonna need to go to plan B. That's buying them at that specialized store. I'm getting iron bolts, I'm getting an iron bolt. I think 500 iron bolts should be. Oh boy, they are expensive. 100 iron bolts. Yeah, 100 iron bolts should be enough. I hope. Why? Okay, all right, let's go meet our friends at the archery shops. Luckily for us, there's one archery shop here in the Oh, Let's go meet him. Now we're more, more adapt to our situation.
Oh, hi, DragonX. Uh, I've been playing R3 for as long as it exists. I started playing on 2004 when we were still at R2, and I decided to start streaming. One of the things I'm interested in is uh, having friends of mine in real life come back to the game or come to the game at all. So I decided to make a kind of RuneScape 101 series to show everything around. Right now we're leveling up Slayer. We're in the goal of getting 15 in every task, in every skill. And we I decided to start with the Slayer. We're doing a skill each day or each week. And we should have it covered soon. Yeah, new account. My main account is Saga Macaro, M-A-C-A-R-O. And I'm going to type it in the plan if you want to chat, if you want to give me a PM or anything. And uh, I'm a Solak kill away from getting back my comp cape. So yeah, that's what's happening. Glad to have you here. Yeah, I'm maxed. Actually, I'm I'm maxed. I was comped until Solak was released. It's the only thing I'm missing from the game. Oh, so a studded cells here. I just bought it stupidly from uh, leather boots, leather leather gloves. Oh, this is the the wrench shop I was talking. Sadly, he doesn't sell crossbows, and I know who sells crossbows, but it's a bit far away. So, we're buying a Noak Shortbow and some Iron Arrows. We're buying the 100 Iron Arrows. And we are ready to go meet our end at Cataplebs. We were greedy and we went to Canifis for a Slayer test. And yeah, Dragon, uh, you can, if you want, I'm free to uh, receive friend suggestions. Add me, PM me, I have everything open. And uh, I'm the proud owner of a clan, I got it inherited. I mostly play on World 88. And after this, I have to call bank. I'm going to call it probably around 1 p.m. Then I'm going to go eat. And after that, I will probably be playing for a while on my main account. Too. I need to talk. I just finished Elite Dungeon 3. And that was a bit hard on my, on my pocket. I'm not as rich as most some people are. I have around 11, 20 million cash usually, and that's fine. That's enough for me. I have fun. That's the point of this game. So, catablebombs. Catablebombs uh, reside on a place called the Stronghold of Security. That's south of Edgeville. Remember, we activate the lodestone there on the monastery, and we need to go south. So we go south to a place called Gunner's Ground, also known as Barbarian Village, and the Fine Ridge. Sure, most of the people and most there are a lot of people maxed in the game, and compers, maxers. My best friend, for example, has around a pocket cash of 180 up to 200 million coins, and I'm usually sitting at 10 or less. So for a comper or a maxer or end game, I usually have less cash than people need, but I don't mind much about it. So this dungeon was created to impose and to define security in players. Now we need to go through the doors, and some of these doors are going to ask you questions. Questions about your account. So like, uh, do you change your password? Share it? You uh should your password be your birthday should you set a bank pin etc and the answer to those is pretty obvious after we reach the bottom of the level we're gonna go down this is the first level the black level we have minotaurs here we have goblins we have giant rats we have wolves and there's actually a lot of monsters to fight in this dungeon at the end of every floor we have a chest with some loot for us and emotes. The last one has actually one, a pair of boots that were quite good. And if you're free to play, this is a place to come. Okay, question one. Is it okay to buy a RuneScape account? 
Yes, it is from someone you know, only if you can pay it for a GP. No, you should never buy. You should never buy a Runescape account. It's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> common sense. Is it safe to pay someone to level your account? Obviously, no, and you should never allow anyone to enter your account. What is the best security step you can take to keep your registered mail safe? Use an email address just for Runescape. Have a complicated password to set my email. Jesus Christ. Uh, set up two-step authentication. Yeah, I mean, these questions changed since the last time I did it. I was. So, 2,000 coins and an emote. Nice. So, yes, I know it may be dangerous. Thank you, Ace Dragon. Uh, after you go through the chest, you can use the portals to... Well, get to the other side of the floor. I thought I wasn't going to be able to do that, but I did. I like it. To claim my reward, you must answer these three questions. Question one, what do you do if someone asks you for your password or bank pin to make you a player moderator? Uh, don't give them the information and send an abuse report. Here it is. Question two, what do you do if someone asks you for your password or bank pin to make you a member for him? Don't tell them anything and click the report abuse button. My friend asked me for my password so I can he can do a difficult quest for me. Do I give it to him? Don't give him my password. You don't share your account. I mean, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I didn't claim it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Same answers. One, uh, three, and two. People usually share accounts. You shouldn't do that. There are actually a lot of rules put in place from this game. So, yeah. I know it may be dangerous, let me just... <sighs> and now we're here, we're gonna die. I mean, okay, I can go through this. We have giant spiders level 39, and those are the cat level, level 53. So for this, I actually told you guys there's a safe spot for cat My girlfriend started playing a couple... Uh... A couple months ago, and she got herself into the same situation I am now, killing catapultons. So yeah, top accounts. Uh, there's this myth. I don't actually know for sure, so I can't uh, guarantee it. But top accounts usually share. So the accounts with the most XP in the game, they fight for the top levels, the top ranks at the game. They usually share. But, uh, accounts, it's probably true because man, those guys are crazy. And here is the save point. We love save points in this account. So we eventually are gonna hit this guy. I think we're probably needing to go train something else. I might. Failed you guys since I thought you told you to. We were getting 15 Slayer, but we probably need to go kill something else with ranged first. This is not good for our self right now. Or we're going to stay here for a couple of hours. And what I meant by sharing accounts is not using the account, but a lot of people have their best friend know their password or their girlfriend know their password, something like that. And you shouldn't do that. You should keep your password to yourself, quite secure, set up a double step authentication on your email, set up double step authentication on your RuneScape account, especially if you're a member. Because well, you are paying for the game, you should set up a bank pin to protect your items. We don't have a bank pin on this account for streaming reasons. It could be annoying to have to hide the, the stream so I can set up a bank pin. If my bank pin is known by everyone, well, it shouldn't be. It's not of a few if my bank pin is public.
So yeah, we were thinking about doing uh, crafting next for skills, but I don't know if the guys watching the stream have any suggestions. So uh, that wasn't that bad. You can recover most of your arrows from the floor. So yeah, right now we're we're definitely getting 15 player with this with this task. And boy oh boy. So they have a special attack in which they weaken you, that means they lower your strength. As you can see over here, my strength is level one. And that can be annoying if you're using melee. So, and they attack with magic. So as we saw before on the combat academy, remember there's a combat triangle. Magic is strong against melee. Melee is strong against ranged, and ranged is strong against magic. So that's why we're using range. We're sadly not able to use a crossbow with balls. That would be the best choice this scenario because we don't have enough catch for it and I really don't want to help this account in any way with my main account. I want to show people how can you play the game. But if this setup would die, I would be happy. Thank you! Slayer level 14 and range level 12. I got an only torch. And I have needle strike. Nice. Needle strike is a nice ability. However, as we went before with concentrated blast. We need a dual wield weapon use it so we need dual crossbows or throwing axes or darts or actually throwing axes yeah they are main hand and off hand the thrown weapons that are dual wield are javelins but to be honest nobody uses darts <laughs> most range is reduced to is um bows and crossbows so yeah this is gonna take a while And this full manual thing can be tiring, so remember right click revolution. You can also right click on the here and select revolution or full manual, and it will do it on its own. The only thing we need to cast are thresholds and ultimates, unless we place them at first spot, but ah, it's usually not a great idea. So you sometimes cast your ultimate when the enemy has like. 20 HP left. So now we can use our hands to do this. Well, we killed Catablepons. And yeah, we went from killing the mighty birds that destroy our souls called chickens to killing Icefins. That was a that was a nice trip. And now we're killing Catablepons. So I actually chose magic before or on the past videos because I thought we were using a lot of magic while doing player and the tasks have been lying to us and we have been using a lot of ranged okay he's stuck with the other catablepon Jesus Christ that's some serious long range okay so now we're gonna hit him. As you can see, there are some arrows appearing on the floor. Most of the arrows you use appear on the floor, so it's a good idea to go and pick them up after the kill. Okay. 
have the strike. For real, the next one is fragmentation shot, the fleet level 20. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna get uh, after this task we're gonna be big. As I said before, we're getting uh, 4k in defense that should get us up to level 30. It should get us to level 20 something in range and probably 20 something too in player. So this task might take a while. So we we'll, we have killed like three of these guys. Alright, so be careful. He's probably out of the safe spot right now. We just need to be careful. It doesn't start hitting us. By the way, if you're free to play, feel free to join. Come at this dungeon in Edgeville. It helps a lot at the start to get some good resources, to get some good levels, train for a bit. Yeah, can you die? Please. Please. For example, right now, I don't want to use an ultimate or a threshold. And my arrows disappeared. It took me too long to kill that guy. Now I can attack this guy. Go to my hiding place. And I have enough adrenaline to start hitting him. And that was harsh. I mean, I failed my ultimate. And remember, right now there is the Easter event where you get crystallized chocolate fragments. You need 50k crystallized chocolate fragments for the entire event. So that's simple, that's easy. Let's just play a lot. Okay, I was hearing loud noises, like something hitting something, and I was checking on the dogs. There's one below the table where I'm in, and one at the door. Uh, she likes to bark at the neighbors. So yeah, I'm just starting with this streaming thing. I figured since I got some time, I could do it. I w I'm also streaming Smite, a uh, MOBA game I play a lot. Uh, trying to stream occasionally. I don't have a schedule right now, but I kind of like this. I might start streaming on other platforms too. I need to think about it, define more my... Image. I don't like how my channel looks yet. I kind of like it, but I feel it, uh, I don't know, forced. So yeah, right now we have been two hours of player with a couple of things in between. So if you guys, guys want me to go on with any other skill, just ask. I will give priority to the skills I get all to. We've done Slayer and Combat right now. Combat Academy, so we need we still need prayer summoning. Well, prayer we have been using it, so there's not much to it right now. It becomes really important farther in. Up from level 43, 47, it becomes way important with something called the overhead prayers that they protect you from different styles of combat and it can become really really useful so the good thing about doing this is that we are not finishing tasks too fast. We will start getting points from these tasks since we're doing it with the Canifis Master. And we will get a lot of XP. And besides, we're really close to the chest. <laughs> Range level 13. Oh, I have no time. Eyes of Nut are used in Herbler, 
to create potions, attack potions in particular. Basically, you need a herb, one for low level attack potions, a read for medium attack potions, and so on and so forth. And you need the herb and the eye of nut in a vial of water. We should start hitting harder. Let me just check something real fast. So one contact weapon gives us 149 combat XP. So it's uh, 70. We need around mm, four more to get range. The XP we get is getting divided. We're gaining it in defense also. But that's nice. Our defense is gonna be strong. Uh, these guys drop trout, eye of nudes, black bull helmet, me three arrows. That's uh, level thirty arrows, herbs, runes, uh, seeds. That's access to some interesting stuff. Uh, okay, that's nice. I'm back. Most of the information of the game is uh, hosted on the wiki. The wiki of the game is actually an official site. It was created by fans, but the enterprise adapted it. And now it's uh, runescape.wiki. Before it had another address, like runescape.fandom.wiki slash something weird. Uh, but now it's part of the main site's family, and it's helped to maintain by the same guys who made the game. So it's quite confident, quite conf quite trusty. You can basically trust that information there. Jesus. Guys have so much defense. Well, we just need a couple of range levels and we will be fine. We can make. Go ahead. Jesus. So I need to use that and then. So we're forty nine couple of to go. And yes. right now, our main source of damage is the ultimate. I know our main source of damage is the ultimate, but you can hit him with other abilities, you know? You don't have to demonstrate it by missing everything except the ultimate. Do, 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 do. 
So yeah, it, it was definitely greedy to tell you guys that we're doing this, but we're still doing this. We're doing Slayer. We're finishing this task today, eventually. Maybe I need to mute myself to call the bank and stuff like that, but pulling this up. And I need to crop this task off. I'm gonna edit the video before uploading to YouTube now. I'm gonna download it from Twitch and I'm gonna crop it. I'm gonna speed up this task. So it should take a while to appear on YouTube. Ooh. Chance 21. Constitution 20. Chance 15. Now I have a new constitution ability. Let me just check Siphon. Ah. Player versus player useful. So next one should get us to level 15 Slayer. We are gonna make a little pause there so that I fix my bank account issues. They are charging me with something they shouldn't be charging me for a couple of months now. I'm trying to fix it so it's gonna be, get a little bit ugly on my side. I'm tired of that PS. Tomorrow when I stream, I might have a friend at my house, it's Easter, so he might have a day off, and I invited him to come, so if he comes, we might also be playing together with Chinito, yeah. He's actually new, he just joined the game yesterday, well, he joined before once and played for like a couple of days, a couple of hours. Okay, so I hope you guys are getting the hang of Slayer right now. Usually most people trying a bit of combat reach level 20, 25 maybe in every combat skill before trying Slayer. But eh, I like doing things other ways. Slayer level 15! Yes! We can now kill Banshees and wear earmarks. I wonder if those two things have a connection. This next one should get us to 14 range. Ouch! Jesus, man! We're chilling! I play so many games that actually the manager of my game store just sent me a WhatsApp like, hey, these are the new pre-sale. How do you say it in English? Uh, games that aren't released that you can get. Are the new pre-release. 
games we have now. And I'm like, okay, I'm interested. This one, this one, this one, not. And he orders my pre sales without me even having to go to the store. I love that. I mean, I've bought so many games from that store now. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to worry about about these guys killing me, so I should appreciate getting a good drop. I mean, I'm standing still till I regenerate life points whenever you fight, you end combat. You regenerate. So, for example, that happens. And you heal. So, I got level 15, 14 ranged. Nothing new. But more range in heal. So this should become a little easier now. Uh, let me just check Catablepon stats. They have a level of 38 in defensive. So yes, 590 armor. I am doing one nine. 195 damage. So, yeah, they're still stronger than me. This becomes easier. I mean, we're level 99, you can come here and heal them easy as pie with any kind of arrows. But man, I notice a big difference from the first one to this one, which levels up. So by the time we're done with this, we're going to be such strong archers. Not using the ultimate because I want to heal the most possible. By the way, this item we got, top of a scepter. Every unique monster in the dungeon, minotaurs on the first floor, uh, Crawlers on the second floor, catablepons on the third floor, and ankles on the fourth floor. Drop a unique item, part of the sceptre. This sceptre, actually, when you put it together, allows you to teleport right here to the dungeon, well, the entrance of the dungeon. And it's actually, it was quite helpful when the dungeon was released. We didn't have the lodestone network. Right now, you can teleport to Edgeville and walk, and that's Quite simple. You, you know, okay. Oh, remember we were talking about seemingly invulnerable creatures. We have one right here. I mean, this requires a mastery in this layer that's so impressive. No, I was joking. Please kill. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, that's better. I mean, yeah, this last level is actually helping us a lot. I can wait until we reach 15. Actually, I can't wait until we reach 20 and get combust. The bleed is going to help a lot on these guys. So oh, I have one viewer, that's myself on my phone. Nice. Unless my dashboard doesn't cut myself and Ice Dragon is still viewing, in which case I love you, Ice Dragon.
Oh, please die, die, die. Two hours and 20 minutes. Now, I meant last kill to heal, but I forgot it and I just attacked a monster. Now he's dead. Two more kills to the next ranged level. Okay guys, I'm gonna mute my mic for a bit. I'm gonna go check what's up with my bank.
Okay, these guys at the bank are taking way too long to answer. I'm still here. Speaking to the bank. Oh, some issues I have. I will mute me again. I'm gonna get off.
Okay, guys, I need to cut it right here. I need to actually go to a bank. People are useless nowadays. So we'll be right back. I will drop it here. We'll finish streaming this 31 Catablep on left. We're doing better, everyone. We're getting closer. We're dealing a lot of more damage. So, yeah.